In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom blocks and items to your Minecraft server using a plugin called Items Adder. If you've ever been on a Minecraft server with very well implemented custom blocks and items, then there's a big chance they are using Items Adder. A great example of this is Origin Realms. Even though pretty much everything on that server is custom made, they're still using Items Adder as a core. And this is the case for a lot of servers. If you ask me, Items Adder is the best plugin to use if you want to add custom items, blocks, cosmetics, or anything like that to your Minecraft server. And today I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to add content of your own. Before we start, do make sure to subscribe to the channel, you would really help me out by doing that. And then without any further ado, let's freaking go. So the first step will be getting items adder. It is not a cheap plugin, I have to warn you, but it allows you to do so much cool stuff. This plugin is actually incredible. So the very first thing you want to do is purchase the plugin and click on download. You also need to install this plugin, Lone Lips. If we don't, then Items Adder will not work. And last but not least, we also need to install Protocol Lip. Just like with Lone Lip, it is just required to have installed on your Minecraft server if you want to get Items Adder running. So simply click on download here too, then go to your Minecraft server directory, look for the plugins folder and drag all of these three downloaded jar files inside. After that, simply restart your Minecraft server and believe it or not, we're now ready to go. Items Adder is installed, we can now start adding some content. So pretty much there are two main ways to get content for items adder. You can either create it yourself, which is quite a long and difficult process, especially when you're brand new to configuration and stuff like that, or you can go to the marketplace and download slash purchase content. Now if you want to create content yourself, you can simply click on the how to add content button. This will bring you to the items adder wiki and over here you can simply Click on the type of thing you want to add. So, for example, armor or loot or tree population or cave decorations, sounds, fuels, blocks, swords. You can see how much stuff there actually is to add here. But let's say I want to add swords, then I can simply click on there. And this will give me an explanation on how to get my own custom sword working in the game. For this video though, I want to focus on how to install already existing content packs. Now, there are multiple different websites you can use to get your content from. One of those websites is Items Adder own Marketplace. So when we click on this Marketplace button, it will take us to this website. So from here, we can download add-ons. Now you can see there is a lot of stuff here. Some will be premium, meaning that they're paid. Other ones will be free. So for this video, let's go for one of the most popular ones, Copper Plus. When you click on it, you will be redirected to the Spig and MC page of Copper Plus. All the way at the top, you can see it says, Items Adder Add-on. This resource is not a plugin. When you scroll a little bit further down, you can see all the stuff it adds. So obviously it adds copper gear, like tools and armor. I think that's pretty cool. So let's just go and click on download now. Instead of a jar file that you would normally get from downloading something from Spigot MC, we got a zip file, copperplus.zip. When you open it up, you will see the copperplus folder inside. Now this folder over here, we need to drag into our items adder content folder. So the way you want to do that is go back to your Minecraft server directory, then go to your plugins folder, and then look for your items adder folder. Inside of there, you will see a couple of files and folders, but the one we want to be looking for is contents. Simply open that folder and then drag the zip file we just downloaded inside. Then of course we want to unarchive it, so in my case I need to click on these three dots. I'm gonna click on unarchive, there we go. And then I'm gonna delete this one again, because I don't need it anymore. Beautiful, so now Copper Plus is inside of the items adder folder. When we go inside of the Copper Plus folder, you will see configs, resource pack and in here you will of course be able to find all the textures look at that instead of the other one you will find the whole config file so just to take a quick look at one of these configs when we go for example to swords.yml over here you will see how the sword actually works so like what is the durability what is the attack power like what should the copper sword be how should it work? Over here, you can even make the crafting recipe. If you guys would like to see a full tutorial on how to create a piece of content yourself, all the way from start 
to finish, do make sure to let me know in the comments. But okay, Copper Plus is inside of the contents folder, meaning that the add-on is now successfully installed. You will not be able to see anything in game though. And that is because we need a resource pack to actually see the custom textures. Now, because this is a Minecraft server that other players will join too, we don't want to apply the resource pack just to our clients, but we want to make it a server resource pack. Now, when we go to the config.yml file, all the way at the top, you will see resource pack settings. And there are a lot of options here. So there are four different ways to host a resource pack. You can either have no host, which is not recommended. You can do auto external host, which I would actually recommend. Then we got self host. And last but not least, and for sure the most used option is the external host. So what is external host? External host basically works in the same way as adding a regular server resource pack. If you don't know how to turn a regular resource pack into a server resource pack, I will leave a video on how to do that linked as a card. But it will basically require you to upload the resource pack to a website, like for example MCPAX. Then MCPAX will provide you with a link, and that link you can put over here. Then as soon as players join your server, Server, the resource pack will automatically be applied. Now this method works great. There's nothing wrong with it. It does have one massive downside though. And that is that every single time you edit a texture or every single time you add a new piece of items that are content, you would have to re-upload the resource pack and replace this link. So what I would actually highly recommend is going for the auto external host option. This will automatically upload the resource pack to the servers of a company that Items Adder has a deal with. The great thing about the auto external host is that as soon as you add a new piece of content or edit a texture and you recompile the resource pack, it will automatically be updated on their servers. And you don't have to do anything else. It is super convenient. So let's put the auto external host on true. I'm also gonna put this one on true. Kick players on decline. Yes. We're gonna set it to true and also kick players on fail. This basically makes it so the players need to apply our resource pack. Otherwise, they won't be able to join the server at all. When they decline it, they will be kicked. And when it fails for whatever reason, they will be kicked too. This way, we can be sure that everyone on our server actually has the resource pack applied. Now let's save the file and let's head over to the console. Because right now, we actually need to create a resource pack. This is probably gonna be the easiest part of this whole video, because the only thing you will have to do is type IA, which stands for items adder and then zip when we then press enter you can see stuff happens and we will get this message you have to accept the privacy policy click here to read then use the accept privacy command to accept it so i'm simply gonna paste the command i did it wrong no slash accept privacy and there we go now after doing all of that stuff don't forget to do a simple ia reload so that everything is good nice and updated when you then join your minecraft server you will get this server recommends the use of a custom resource pack would you like to download and install it if we click no here we will be kicked because that's the way we set it in the config when we click yes here though we will get this flying resource pack please be patient it can take some seconds now this process completely depends on how big your resource pack is if you've added a lot of content to the game i mean like many 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 custom items then this could take up to a minute it really depends on how much stuff you've added for me it didn't take so long though because well we only added some copper tools now these tools i will of course not find in my inventory it's not a mod they are in the game though when we type slash ia you will get a menu that showcases is all the items that were added. So when we click on here, you can see, hey, we got a copper sword and a copper helmet, chest plate, leggings, and a lot of other stuff. We even got a cancel button. That's the button you see over here. Now, from my experience, you will pretty much never use this menu. It is just not necessary because the custom items are now just in the game. They work. So when I now grab a crafting table, place it down, I put a stick over here, I put in two copper ingots, and there we go. A copper sword it works perfectly fine the custom item is created it's working and it is freaking awesome now i do have to warn you for one thing though people with shaders like myself will not have a, a great time 
For some reason, items that are items just don't work great with shaders. And with not great, I mean, they work awful with shaders. As far as I know, there is nothing that can be done about this. This is just how it is with shaders. And if you're gonna play on a Minecraft server that has a lot of custom items, and you wanna see the armor right, I would highly recommend not using shaders. Though if you're very attached to shaders, like myself, you can still use them. I also still use them on Origin Realms. It is just that, yeah, the armor will kinda look off. But if we don't use them, Look at how great this looks. Copper armor inside of Minecraft. I got a copper sword. This is great. This is awesome. And this is how you can add your own content to items adder. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to smash subscribe. You would really help me out by doing that. You actually would. And then I wish you an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.